Hi, Carl here, and today we are walking through the process of reseasoning my Claro Mill humidor, which for the last couple months I have intentionally let idle for the purpose of this video, which is to answer the question, how do I know when my humidor is seasoned? Now we talk a lot about seasoning. In fact, in the tutorials link below, you'll find step-by-step -step seasoning instructions for each model at Case Elegance. Today and over the next couple of days, we're gonna walk through the process from start to finish as we bring this humidor back up to its full potential. Now we're in the throes of winter here in the Midwest. I can feel that my skin is a little bit dry. And over the last couple of days, this humidor has consistently been below 50% humidity. We're gonna resuscitate it and bring it back up to those ideal levels, somewhere between 65% and 72% relative humidity. But first, what are we talking about when we talk about seasoning? Seasoning is the process of creating a baseline moisture level within the actual wood of the humidor to give it the fortitude it needs to respond to changes and fluctuations in humidity levels. Now Spanish cedar, which is what all Claro humidors are made with, is a softer, more porous wood that holds on to excess moisture and then naturally disperses it as the air around it becomes more dry. So it's kind of like having a reserve stock of moisture within your humidor. What we're doing with the seasoning process is building up that moisture saturation within the wood so that long term your humidor is more equipped to respond to any changes in humidity, whether you're adding more cigars, opening it frequently, or just storing cigars in general. So obviously this humidor has already expended its reserve stores of moisture, and we need to go through the seasoning process to build back that buffer. I expect the process to take a couple of days, and we're going to track the progress throughout. I've gone ahead and emptied the humidifier, which is the Claro Hydro Tray, so that we can start from the beginning and season this humidor together. So the first step is going to be to activate our humidifier, which in our case is the Claro Hydro Tray, which uses a combination of gel crystals and humidor solution to create that humidification source. So we're gonna go ahead and open our humidor. We'll remove this top wooden platform where cigars would typically rest, and below we'll find that Claro Hydro Tray, which is currently covered. Go ahead and remove that cover, place it to the side, and you'll see inside four separate quadrants, which we will fill with humidor solution. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that wooden platform back in the humidor, place the hydro tray on top, and we're gonna be using the winter and dry climate humidor solution. Inside you'll find those gel crystals, which we can also place to the side. We'll remove the humidor solution, and I'm gonna take and put some of this in each of those quadrants to begin the seasoning process. Just enough to start the base in each of those four quadrants. So we'll close the humidor, and we're gonna let this sit for the next day or two. We'll be monitoring the levels on the hygrometer at the front of the humidor, and what we're looking for is a reading of 68% relative humidity or higher. Once we've achieved that level, we'll begin the next phase of the seasoning process. So it's been about 24 hours, and within that time, we've seen the humidity levels bumped from about 47% to 70%, which is exactly what we're looking for and a sign that we're on the right track. The risk here is to think that our job is done. When seasoning, remember that moisture saturation is the end goal. We're trying to stock that Spanish cedar with as much moisture as possible so that it can respond to climatic changes, frequent openings, and long-term use. If I were to add a couple cigars to this humidor right now, I wouldn't have much of a baseline. You need to quickly see that the humidity levels would drop as the cigars absorb the moisture and not the wood. The seasoning process is about bolstering the moisture baseline within the humidor and that can take some time. So this reached 70% relatively quickly, and there hasn't been too much fluctuation since. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of my winter and dry climate solution. We'll give this another day or two, but once it's consistently at or above 70%, the next step will be to add my gel crystals to each one of those quadrants, along with some additional humidor solution to bolster that saturation. The next step is to monitor. Within a week, this should consistently be at 70% or above, and then we should be off to the races and ready to add cigars. 
So now that the humidor is consistently at that mid 70s zone that we've been looking for for the last couple of days, I'll take this chance to add the gel crystals to the hydro tray. Go ahead and sprinkle those evenly into each of the four quadrants of the hydro tray, and then follow back through with humidor solution to make sure that each of the gel crystals touches and is saturated by that liquid. You can go ahead and put the cover back on your hydro tray, place the hydro tray beneath that wooden platform. And that completes the main steps of seasoning your humidor. Now it comes down to monitoring the hygrometer to see if we've been successful. I'll give this about another week, but then when I add cigars, I'm gonna be monitoring that humidity level. A little bit of a dip and I'm not too concerned, but a significant dip might be an indication that I need to add more humidor solution. But without a hygrometer, I'm left in the dark. And that really puts the emphasis on having a quality digital hygrometer with internal sensors so I can detect any fluctuations in humidity as I make changes to the humidor itself. Thanks for watching. I really hope this was helpful. Please be sure to check out the other seasoning instructional videos for each of the Claro humidors at caseelegance.com.